One of the great tragic comedies of our time is how feminism has convinced a generation that traditional men simply want to control and oppress women, I assume because we supposedly just hate them and want to see them suffer. Now, while you can always find examples of controlling, coercive and abusive men, that isn't actually consistent with the traditional conception of how a man should behave. Traditionally, men would value real femininity and wish to keep it sheltered from the dangers and the chaos of the world, as well as protect women themselves. Yet traditional society has now been destroyed and the safety of women is in the hands of liberalism and feminism. This has led to a world where women can brace total licentiousness and be as sexually ostentatious as possible. On top of that, men are expected to be absolutely perfect despite having no traditional structures to aid them in the battle with lust, which let's be honest is not an easy battle for most men. To compound this, a major issue we have is many of our new arrivals in the Western world don't have the same attitudes that we have towards our women. We will, of course, be called racist and evil if you point any of this out, but it is a real problem. So there's nothing you can really do to warn many people about the situation we're facing. Unfortunately, it usually takes something horrible happening for people to start waking up. This has been the case with a particularly aggressive, progressive Anna Kasparian of Young Turks fame. If you don't know who she is, this is her responding to allegations that progressives always try and act better than other people. Yeah, I'm f***ing better than you okay? Much better than you. You are garbage. Well, that's as told then. But comedy aside, Anna did genuinely seem to have quite a horrible experience recently where she was seemingly groped. But the response from the left has changed how she thinks politically. In 2022, it was around March, I was walking my dog. It was not quite dark yet, but the sun was setting. As I'm wa walking my dog, um, I see these two guys. They seem kind of manic, mm -hmm. and their clothes were tattered. So I just I knew that they were probably homeless, and I also knew that they're probably on something just based on like the twitchy way they were acting. But as I was bending down to pick up my dog's mess, uh, one of the guys like grabs me by my hips, and he had an erection. Oh god! And just starts like humping me, and I. I didn't know what to do. Like, I, I was terrified. I didn't have a weapon on me. Yep. Like, I had no way of defending myself. I didn't know how far it was going to go because it's two guys. I'm by myself with my little dog. It was, the what, like, one of the most terrifying things ever. It was really taking a toll on my mental health because I have to walk my dog, right? So at least two or three times a day, I'm going outside kind of scared. And so I opened up about this on the show, not really thinking much of it. And before I knew it, I'm starting to get these messages and it's like really, really harsh stuff. And it's about how you are painting a picture of the homeless community. You know, how could you be like this? You know, these are your unhoused neighbors and they need help. Um, what, you know, a few people accused me of being racist. That woke me up. That woke me up because I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, indeed. But just think for a second. Is this a traditional society that she's describing? The feminists have warned us for years about how such things are toxic. But in a traditional society with traditional values and traditional strong men, no homeless man with an erection is going to hump you, basically because he knows there's going to be severe repercussions very quickly if he tries anything of the sort. But in our contemporary culture, traditional masculine men have been demoralised and demeaned. Every time a tragedy happens, for some reason they're blamed as well, even though they're the only people that could actively stop these sorts of things happening. A case in point would be after the tragic kidnapping and murder of Sarah Everard a few years ago, a radical feminist Green MP suggested that there should be a 6pm curfew for all men. This just sums up the absurdity of liberalist feminism. Do you think that murderous, psychotic, sexually aggressive men are going to adhere to a curfew? They're going to think it's the best thing ever because there are no men around anymore to protect the women at night. Yet this is the inherent incoherence of leftism. If you were to say something like black people have higher violent crime rates, I'm sure they'd tell you that you're an evil racist and you shouldn't generalise. However, when a tragedy happens with a sexual crime against a woman via a man, 
tends to be all men that seem to get the blame. It seems to me that modern feminism gets completely irate when the broader culture puts any demands on women and their bodies at all. But such demands are a completely normal part of any civilised society. For example, if I decide I want to walk around Sainsbury's in the nude, that might be my human right to do that, but it's an incredibly bad idea and an imposition to everybody else. Henceforth, society is right to put some limits on my behaviour in that instance. These complexities are causing a total mess in our present culture, yet were once moderated by our tradition. That tradition also put the onus equally on men and women to moderate their sexual behaviour women in terms of modesty and men in terms of controlling their lust in favour of good masculine values. And if somebody transgressed the sexual standard of the society, there would be severe repercussions. A, to make an example of such a person and ensure other people thinking the same don't do it, and B, to act as a moral make-weight to protect the sanctity of the female body. But the days of discussing this calmly in the mainstream are gone. We have generations now who've bought in to radical feminism. Henceforth, these things are only really realised when a tragedy happens. And I do believe all the chaos in the Western world is leading us to some sort of civilizational rebirth, and that will reawaken the good solid values that built our society and kept it stable and safe in the first place. I'll make some more content on that from different angles very soon. In the meantime, do let me know your thoughts down below. Do consider subscribing to the channel.